Okay, shalom, shalom. Kwam yasa Allah. Koholoi mla. Yahweh b'ashim yahweh shai b'ashim rakakodash. Double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well there by the Spirit. Taught us this beautiful truth and just want to say the water to all the Akim and Akwaf that's out here sincerely keeping the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh b'ashim yahweh shai to the best of their ability. Jachanan Nawaf just coming at you with another quick, quick lesson, praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. And um, you can see Esau, man. This man really thinks he. This man really has a God complex. He really thinks that he can do things better than the Lord, man. This man, he he done made GMO food. He done made seedless fruit. He done, you know, done done done. He's cloning them. He's making damn meat and in, in labs, and you know, adding down pig parts to humans. <laughs> so and this man, he wants to put a C hip in you. He want this man wants to put a computer in people, man. So he's not gonna stop because he can never have enough. Esau can never have enough. This man is going to go. If he make it to Mars, he's going to Venus. If he make it to Venus, he's going. They're, hey, they're, they're, they can never have enough, and they're just not going to give up, man. And this is why Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is going to have to take them out of power. And this clearly shows you that they're the wicked, too, because they are the ones that have the actual power to actually implement and pull stuff like this off. If a so-called black person, say you got a black so-called couple of black doctors or whatever, 12, a team or so, they got a lab. And, 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 it, you know, matter of fact, you ain't going to even, they ain't going to even allow Jake to get no damn lab. You know, and, you know, if it's any research that's being done by Jake, it's going to be overseen and overlooked at by um, Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. Why? Because they're in control and this is their kingdom. But let's get off into some of this article and it's just going to show you this fool is not going to stop, man. It says first successful wound transplant in UK raises eth ethical questions. The news that the first successful UK wound transplant has been performed at the Churchill Hospital in Oxford has been greeted as the dawn of a new era in reproductive medicine. The recipient is a 34-year-old woman born without a womb, and the donor is her elder sister who already has children of her own. Why was she born without a womb? Because the Lord didn't want her to have a womb. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? As a matter of fact, let me get this scripture real quick. I was going to come back to this, but let's we can get this now. This is Genesis 29 and 31. And when Yahweh saw that Leah was hated, he opened her womb, but Rachel was barren. So the Lord is in control of those situations. He's in control. He's the father of spirits. Where do you think the spirits come from? To even be in a body. You can't just produce life if the Lord don't want it, man. You know what I'm saying? The Lord is in control of life and death. You get that in um, Deuteronomy 32 and 39. You see what I'm saying? And, um, well, let me, let's get Exodus real quick. It's a lot. Kind of reminded me of this scripture right here. Exodus 4 and 11. Yeah, this dude, man, out of his goddamn mind, man. This dude, he growing down meat in a lab, man, trying to give it to the people. And, and trying to make you think that it's, it's just as good. Get the hell out of here, man. This is, um, Exodus 4 and 11. It says, and the Lord, and the Lord, Yahweh, said unto him, who hath made man's mouth, or who maketh the dumb, or deaf, or the seeing, or the blind? Have not I, Yahweh? So the Lord is in control of all situations, man. You can you get to try and get a damn womb all you want to. If the Lord don't want you to have no babies, you're not having no babies. It's that simple. But let's go back into it. Let's see what else they got. Won't be a long lesson. I just seen it and was like, you know, by the spirit, you know, um, <laughs> let's let's a hey, let's let's point Esau ass out, man. This guy, he must be destroyed, man. Okay, it says, the operation was funded by Womb Transplant UK, a charity that raises funds for womb transplant research and seeks to make womb transpla transplantation another option for treating infertility within the next few years, alongside existing tools like drugs, IVF, and surrogacy. However, while the, pr while the procedure may have life-transforming potential for some women, there are ethical considerations to take into account what does the procedure involve wound transplantation is an intricate procedure in which one team of surgeons remove the wound from the donor and a second team transplant it into the recipient both stages of the procedure are serious operations lasting many hours and the patients remain in hospital for days afterwards donor and recipient undergo extensive counseling before the transplant to ensure psychological suitability and the recipient must take drugs that suppress the immune system afterwards to prevent her body from rejecting a new organ. See? 
It was just a whole bunch of damn trouble, man. Once the recipient has finished using the wound, she has further surgery to remove it so that the Im immu immunosuppressant drugs can be discontinued. Crazy, man. Since the first successful wound transplant in 2012, around 100 procedures have now been performed around the world. I didn't even know that. Leading to the birth of around 50 babies, team in Sweden and U.S. have been particularly successful in pioneer, pioneering the technique. Hell, Sweden is the one that's um, going hardcore with them damn them implants already in them over there. Yep. It says, who might benefit? The potential beneficiaries of a womb transplantation are women who, for medical reasons, cannot carry a pregnancy. Around 1 in 5,000 women are born without a womb. And many other women are childbear of childbearing age have their wounds removed due to cancer, fibroids, prolapse, or extremely heavy periods. Although women without wounds may still be able to be genetic mothers, if embryos created using their eggs are gestated, if I'm pronouncing that right, and birthed by surrogates, wound transplants can give wound transplants give them the chance to carry and give birth to their own babies. How safe is it? The procedure is claimed to be medically safe for a donor and recipient, and there is plenty of data from over 50 years of transplanting other organs on safety and immunosuppressant drugs for recipients unborn um, children. Wound transplantation involves serious surgery and significant recovery time. But so do many other types of surgeries that are designed not to save life, but to enhance its quality. However, most other non-life-saving surgeries do not involve a living donor undergoing a highly invasive procedure with a long recovery period. Oh, anyway, you get it, man. I mean, uh, we don't need to get no more. <laughs> this man is trying to do it all, man. Let's get this Job 9 and 24 real quick. Because this is him, man. This man really thinks that he's the Lord, man. He sets his nest on high. He's all out in the skies. You know, he's, he's, he's telling you what the weather going to be next month. You know, he's telling you about, a, you know, a, a, a possible, you know, earthquake here. You know, they, you know, with their, their science and data, they really, you know. Now, I just seen something today with them talking about they sent out a message supposedly 40 years and um 40 years ago in the space saying hello is there anyone there and they're looking for an answer back right now see this is the type of shit that he on instead of having faith in yahweh bashim yahweh shai know that that's him and know that those are the angels that they're the with these you know what they're calling the ufos these days those are the angels of the lord why did, why don't they believe that because they don't have no no faith the lord didn't create them to be spiritual like that they believe in themselves they believe that they're gods and I can't wait, man, until you how about Shimmy I was to show up to show them otherwise, man. Anyway, Job 9 and 24, because like I said, they have the power to actually do stuff like this. They're not about to allow no um, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans to say, hey, you know what? We're going to do a wound transplant. Get the hell out of here. They're in control of the medicines. They're in control of the hospital beds. They're in control of the damn telescopes, thesiscopes, uh, uh, aspirin, band-aids, you name it, the damn gauze, you name it, man. They're in control of all of that. And overpricing and overcharging people for that shit. Get your ass to come to the hospital and, and, and wear your damn insurance out. After the insurance is all drained, they send your ass back home. You know what I'm saying? Uh, with, with no results. This man is through, man. Not, Job 9 and 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? See? The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He's the one that's running things. And he's slowly dwindling too right now. Matter of fact, he's quickly dwindling. Because you got these these extra BRICS nations that's um you know joining BRICS right now. And 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 things is about to get serious out here, man. You know what I'm saying? They're not, you know, that dollar is failing. So they're about to go off into from transplanting damn wounds to transplanting, you know, they about to start doing these these damn chip transplants or these these chip implants, Salakia. They all into all this, this one of fused machine with human. So this man, he, he has to go. He's out here on his Franken, getting his Frankenstein on. You see what I'm saying? So we have to be on a, on a lookout, man. 
And the day is the day of atonement. It's, you know, it's pretty much over with over this way where I'm at. Still got about maybe hour, two hours or so before, um, you know, the sun sets or whatever. But, you know, hey, it's been a, a good day of fasting. And we've been praying to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah for mercy and for the downfall of this man's kingdom. You know, and we're praying. Hey, we have faith that the Lord is hearing Hebrew Israelite prayers going up all day long today, you know. All day long, fasting, dry fast, no water, no, 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 no food. And we're, you know, we, we, we have faith and believe that the Lord is hearing our prayers, man, because he see that we're we're making, a, um, you know, a physical sacrifice, so to speak, down here, man. We believe we have we got faith. You have to have faith to be doing this, man. So, you know, the water to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh side for that, man. But he's going to get us out of this man's hands. But let me get one more real quick because this is him. He's being revealed. Get on um, 2 Thessalonians 2. Let's start at verse 3. It says, let no man deceive you by any means for that day shall not come except there come a falling away first. And that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. And that's what's happening right now. This is the reason why you're seeing so much shit. Everything, things are just being shown that this man, he, he's the wicked. He got to go because if he continues to rule, nothing will, nothing will last, man. Nothing can live with this man continuing to rule another 25, 30, 40, 50 years. Can't even, I can't even say 100. The hell out of here, man. Verse 4 says, who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called God or that is worshipped so that he is God, sitteth in the temple of God, showing, showing himself that he is God. Because they have a God complex. They really believe that they can, you know, they're trying to blot off the sun. You know, they're trying to, um, you know, uh, uh, give you, you know, new fruit. They fuse and shit. Hybrid this, hybrid that. You know, trying to do all different types of stuff that, you know, they, they want to be all seen, all knowing. That's the reason why they want to chip you. They want to, um, you know, uh, uh, count your damn carbon footprint. You know, all different kinds of stuff. This man is into everything, man. And he just wants to turn you Israelites into perpetual slaves. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man. They already have us in captivity. That's not enough of them. They want to actually put a goddamn computer in you, a, lo a, a damn black box, basically, a locator. You see? Be able to tell your blood sugar level. They want to know you're sitting on the toilet. You know? Tracking your ass. He's in the basement. He's in the attic. He's in the kitchen. You know, it might have a damn speaker in your house where, you know, you've got a smart refrigerator. Your, your shit locked where, you know what I'm saying, you've gone over your allotted amount of um, snacks today. Where well, the smart refrigerator won't even let you in. Or your, your carbon footprint get too high, you, you know, because, you know, they got smart doors now. They smart lock your ass in your house. So all that integrating, this is where this, this shit is going, man. This man wants to turn the entire planet into a prison. Which it is already. I mean, you know, but he really wants to just really take total, total control of the people, man. And, and, and stuff like this, it shows you exactly how he's getting down. Who the hell thinks of transplanting a fucking womb, man? You see? I mean, come on, man. He's out here. He's telling you about eight glasses of water per day you need. You need eight hours of sleep. You, you know, we got this medicine for this and this medicine for that. He'll run down all the side effects on you real fast on TV. You know, you know what I'm saying? And but you know, to get rid of one thing, you gotta collect eight more damn things. You no, know, I'm dealing with my uncle. We just, you know, come from you come from the hospital. You got fucking twelve different pill bottles. Like what the fuck, bro? You know, none of that shit is gonna make you better, man. So it's all a, a, a game with this man, man. He he wants to research all in the name of research. He'll, 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 come on, man. I just done the lesson the other day. I think it was maybe yesterday or the day before where they was talking about how they was, um, how they was, uh, uh secretly testing, um, radiation on, um, on, 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 people back in the days. I think they, they call it the Manhattan experiment and they just injecting people with shit, man. And, and just like they done with Jake when they was injecting Jake with syphilis, trying to see how he would re react to it. Just torturing Jake, man. Had the medicine for it and everything. Well, he's actually then slithered his ass into the hood and, and actually used, well, you know, our people to do it. Then come find out 40 years or so later, you know what I'm saying? They got all the data and research and then, you know, and, and it's nothing done about it. 
So that's why we tell you, be careful when it comes to this man, because guess what? He's telling you to put those damn, um, them, them damn diapers back on your face right now. He's telling you that the hospitals are being filled back in right now. And you know what I'm talking about. You know what from that jumpy, you know what I'm saying? That Capri Sun, that jump shot. And hey, Jake, come out here and roll their damn sleeves up. Now they're telling you that it's time to do it all over again with the, with the Boost Mobiles. Come on, man. Y'all you, you be, better uh, uh, beware of this, man. That's why the scripture says, never trust thine enemy. Like his iron rusted, so is his wickedness, man. He's going to show you. And it actually says that he, though he go crouching and humbling himself, you know, you, you be, take good heed of him. Beware of him. That's a, that's a commandment from the Lord. Because if you don't and you go and just let, you let this fucking man just expand, he just, you know, he's telling you, you know, something going to help you and, and, and you just don't, you don't really know. People don't even really know what they're going to get when they really go to these places, man. They just trust in this man. When it comes straight down to it, he's going to use that cunning, slithery snake shit to try and get you to come through and, and put a goddamn um, PlayStation 5 in yourself and, and you're going to be destroyed, man. Because he got the technology to do it. But see, I didn't know that they was, uh, I didn't even know they was even doing nothing like this. They've been, you know, this man um, perfected transplant, man. Transplants. You know, this motherfucker moving brain to another head, <laughs> hearts, lungs, kidneys. So, you know, he when he's doing stuff like that, he, he that, that, that shit takes a lot of practice. So a lot of people got to go to to make sure these things happen. Well, let me get verse four again. It says who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called Yahweh or that is worshiped so that he as God sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. See, and, and, and most people, you know, they believe that, that, you know, when they have when somebody says God instantly, a so-called white man pops in their head. You can Google it right now. You're going to it's going to be more likely a so-called white guy pops up. You know what I'm saying? If you put in God, you put in Jesus. Of course, it's going to be blonde hair, blue eyed white guy. So they don't they you know, they just slithered their way into that. A complete damn lie. They got people going to church, spending billions and billions and billions. The church tithe and offering thing is in the trillions, probably. People go on a Sunday, Wednesday, this, 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 and this, man, and they really just caking these damn greedy dog pastors up and not getting no spiritual results, man. They're not getting no results out of this because they're not being fed the real truth. He, he, he didn't, matter of fact, this man that came up, he, 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 he's in control of. The, even the, 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 the seminary school, he's telling you how to teach the Bible. The damn devil is, 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 has universities teaching uh, uh, more damn demons how to teach the Bible. And, and a lot of those people are sincere. They're sincere. A lot of them, they, you know, they have a zeal for Yahweh, but not according to knowledge. But this man, to get a so-called, to become a preacher, you know, or to become a minister or a reverend or whatever you want to call it, you got to go to this man's school. And a lot, of, and it's really like college. It's like, you know, it's like, you know, four years. I guess you can go and get, you know, um, um, you, you know, you, you become a doctor. You hear some of these, these pastors talking about, you know, Dr. Leroy Thompson. A doctor or what? And basically, he's telling you he's a doctor of the scriptures, but he had to go to the so-called white man to become that doctor of the scriptures, which telling you that he's actually going to go in the chains. They give you a couple of little things that you need to know, send you into a church, and them pastors be, be caking, man. For decades, they be caking. And then they pass it on to their children. A lot of the times, their daughters caking. Generation to generation, caking. Some of these churches been around, man, forever, man. Caking. <laughs> Straight up, but you know, that's another lesson, man. I just wanted to touch on this right here, though, because Esau Edom is out here. He has a God complex and he's further going to push that. He's further going to push that. This man, and he's prideful. He's prideful. He, he really doesn't think that, you know, nothing is better than him and his, his science and his data, man. They got labs all over the world. They fucking with animals. They fucking with um, uh, 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 diseases. You know what I'm saying? They got a CDC where they, they, they you know, and them big ass bubble suits with the fucking big ass look like they in space and an astronaut suit. Putting together a, a, a damn mosquito with a fucking beetle or something. <laughs> I mean, I mean, this man is in control of all that stuff, man. He's he, he's constantly coming up with weaponry. He used everything as a damn weapon, man. But anyway, I just wanted to just touch on that for a hot sec, man. So keep an eyeball out 
on what's to come as far as them wanting you to roll that sleeve up a few more times. You got to leave that alone, man, because it's, it's going to come to a point where you're going to have total, total one. You sp should have total, total 100 percent faith in Yahweh anyway, you know, because it's going to come a point where this man is going to present to you an ultimatum. You're going to you're going to take what I got for you and you and you eat and live. Or if you don't, you know, we're going to basically blackball you and you, you know, you, you take your chances, <laughs> so to speak, which we're going to. Hey, we, we running with the Lord, man, you know, or we want to. That's the, you know, we're praying to the Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shada. We will have complete faith in him. Complete faith in him. Whether we out here on the streets, living out of a damn cardboard box, I don't give a shit. Trusting in him until he makes the moves, man. But the Lord said he's going to look out for us anyway, but you got to have faith. You got to have faith, and it's got to be unwavering, man. Don't, don't get to, you know, letting it on eat. So I know we got, you know, a lot of, cause, you know, so a lot of us got families, got babies, you know, got kids, got wives. You know, you got some your women, got husbands, and it's true. Grandmama, you love grandma, you love your favorite auntie, you love your favorite uncle. And a lot of them, going, they're going to go and get that shit. And they're going to be looking at you like, why aren't you doing it? And they could actually help you out for a while. And then they're uh, like, yeah, no, nah, you better go on down there. Don't let nobody talk you into it. But anyway, man, this man, his kingdom is falling and it's falling swiftly. And it's a beautiful thing. So with that, I pray that this lesson was edifying. Kwame Yashallah. This man out here trying to, he's transplanting wounds, man. So you already know what's next. You know the alphabet, get their hands on this here. Come on, man. They're already trying that with the alphabet people. But anyway, Shalom, Shalom.